Guys, so today I'm going to be doing a collab with some people that I'm really, really excited about. Now, I know I look crazy. Some of these words are facing frontwards. Some of them are facing backwards. But I wanted to get the point across, and I didn't realize when I was writing it that it's on camera, so it's flipped. So, you may not be able to tell exactly what I'm trying to get across here with the words on my face, but I hope that you listen to my words and get something from that. This video, we're going to be talking about bullying and how it's powerful to the people who are experiencing it. I think that all of us can say that we've been through some sort of bullying in our life, and if you haven't, then you are a very fortunate person because I feel like it's something that happens to a lot of different people. Being here on YouTube and putting my life out online and being so open about my personal life is going to cause a lot of people to have opinions about my life. Fortunately, I'm a small enough channel where I don't really get a lot of hate, but there have been some things people have said to me that have stuck with me, and I remember those things. People have called me fat, they've called me ugly, they've called me stupid, they've called me lazy, they've called me a bitch, they've called me all these things to try to tear me down. Sometimes their words get through to me. I'm going to be really honest with you guys right now. I've been going through a very, very, very hard point in my life where I've struggled a lot with my self-image. I've struggled a lot with loving myself and I've struggled a lot with my mental health. And when, you, when you're in a spot where you're vulnerable like that and where you're already feeling not confident in yourself and you're already thinking these things, having people say them to you whether they know you or not is going to hurt you and it's going to harm you. People don't realize that the things I say on the internet have meaning and they stick with you. So when people comment on my videos and say something that they think may not be hurtful to me, it can actually stick with me. And people tend to believe that words don't hurt, but they actually really, really do. Whether these people know you or not, if they're saying these things to you and you feel they're true, it's just going to validate your point even more. And that can be really, really harmful. I've talked a lot about suicide and spreading awareness for it because whether people realize it or not, people often are driven to suicide by being bullied. And this is a prime example. Right now, I am in a low place in my life, but I can recognize the difference between a bad spot and it being a bad life. People who are severely depressed can't separate that, and so when people are constantly telling them things that they're already feeling about themselves, it's only going to add to it, and it could cause someone to take their life. I know I've talked about my spinal cord injury before on my channel, and the reason that we're doing this collab is because I had posted something that a friend of mine had shared who was also in a wheelchair. Someone had left a comment on her picture and made a comment about her not being able to walk. And I'm very fortunate in the fact that I haven't had a lot of people say negative things to my face about my wheelchair. And I'm not really insecure about my chair. I mean, yeah, there are things about it that I am insecure about. Like I said, I have been in a really rough, rough place in my life and a really low point in my mental health. And so... Sometimes those words do stick with me when I'm feeling really down and depressed. I go back to what those people say and it makes me feel like I'm worthless and that I'm not good enough and that's what bullying does. It makes people feel insecure in themselves and if they're already feeling that way it's only going to add to it. So what I want from you guys is I want you to make sure that you do say at least one nice thing to someone today. Whether it's that you like their shirt, you like their hair, or even smiling them to them in public. Make sure that you're doing something to spread kindness because you don't realize how much a little thing can do to brighten up someone's day. I always try to smile at people when I see them in public because I remember reading a story once about a man who was going to commit suicide and he had told himself that at least one person, if one person would smile at him on his way to go commit suicide, then he wasn't going to do it and somebody smiled at him and it saved his life. It helped him not want to go through with committing suicide. And there are many stories like that. That's just one that stuck with me. So I always try to be extra kind to people. You don't know what people are going through in their life. And even if you're, even if someone who is a content creator that's putting their life out on the internet and you think that you know them so well, you need to understand that people only put what they want on the internet. I have not opened up about my struggles with um, my mental health or my body image because I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want people to know that because it's vulnerability, especially on the internet. People are going to tear you apart. And so, so whether you think you know someone or think you know what they're going through, you don't always know. And so it's best to just not say anything negative and just always try to be kind. Please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. I would love to get this conversation going. Please make sure you check out the other girls in this collab. I will have their links in the description. I'm really excited to see what they have to say because I think that their stories are going to be super powerful. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.